kind of history do you personally have with the Power Rangers? Like, what is your first memory of these guys? My, my memory is um, playing Power Rangers with my brother. Mm. And I remember we used to stand on opposite sofas and we'd go, Power Rangers, and then we'd run at each other and fight. That is that is the memory that, that is I the have memory. of Power Rangers, yeah. Who won that one? Me, all the time. Uh, always. <laughs> and she would play the Red Ranger, which I think is yes. the best. Part. I know, I love the red. <laughs> she so loved the red like color. Yeah, I resonated with the colors too. I, I wanted to be the yellow Power Ranger growing up just because yellow is my favorite color. Um, I was introduced to it at a very young age. I watched like the original Japanese uh, version of Power Rangers, the, the TV show, um, and I didn't understand any of it, which was really funny, but I would watch it before um, heading over to school in like kindergarten, first grade. And uh, I remember more of the kaboom, pow, flip, flip, oh yeah, and then like fireworks. Ah. Yeah. Is it true that you didn't know that you were auditioning for the Power Rangers when it first? So okay, yes, I didn't know, but it wasn't it wasn't like um like I didn't care type thing, and I would just like read it like literally like I can go back to the emails like it didn't say anything about what it was like, like kind of like hush hush I guess because like everyone else had already been casted and they were still casting for the Yellow Ranger, right. you know what I mean? And so the sides that I got didn't say anything about Trini, didn't say anything about Power Rangers. Well, I didn't the get a script. Club. I'm pretty sure that it was a scene from the Breakfast Club, which is really cool. Um, and so so yeah, so when I was told that the selfie was for Power Rangers and that they loved it and I made it to the final round of casting, I was like, what? Yeah, it was pretty awesome. I love also the fact that these kids are actual outcasts and I feel like maybe mm. in the TV shows prior maybe they didn't really right. establish how outside... We're kids with attitude. Yeah. Um, so, so how did... Was that easier for you to relate to your characters because it was so on the page? Definitely. I think um, that resonated with me, the fact that it's an origin story, it's how they become Power Rangers and these kids are dealing with real issues that go on now. I think that was something for me Per, that I was like, oh, I could get with this, you know, a, mm -hmm. a, a movie, it's not just a mask movie, you know, um, and um, I think it's really, really important for sure to to show that and hopefully kids can relate to at least at least one of us, you know. Yeah. I, I gotta honest, actually, you know, what I liked also was Kimberly, she was actually the mean girl, right. you know, and so that's an interesting twist mm -hmm. on her, her, can you maybe talk about that? Yeah, a so bit? it's interesting, because she, I think what the, what, what I liked was that she was, she's not perfect, but it, sometimes when you show a mean girl, it's like this caricature of um, like she's actually a mean, mean girl. Yeah, like but as, Kimberly's not actually mean. I think that's what you learn. Mm. Sorry, from an outsider, no, like yeah. you learn um, while watching the movie is like she makes a mistake. You yeah, know? yeah. So she, you know, she, it, it, that's yeah, basically. She what? makes a mistake. Yeah, and she makes a mistake, and she's. It's about how she deals with that. You know, she. Um, I think I think everyone in school at some point does something that they regret, and you know, well, like I said previously, um, when when someone or a girl does something that you know, it's usually out of their own insecurity. Mm -hmm. It's never, you know, it's not that this kind, of, and and it kind of shows that, uh, you know, they're all going through the same sort of thing. Um, so yeah, so I think that was kind of I think that was cool that she wasn't this kind of perfect, um, and she you know in the movie she says that she she really regrets it and it's eating her up. Because mm -hmm. that's not who she is. Um, really, she's smarter than that, and she's done with that whole fakeness. She she just wants to, she just wants real friends, you know, and mm -hmm. real people around her. Then I got to ask Becky, you know, to, to play Trini, where you know she's she doesn't really I don't know if she wants to connect or she doesn't connect with people because she's the always a new girl, mm -hmm. uh, being a person that you you know your career oh, that you've had and stuff. Yeah. Um, how did you overcome that? You know, because we talked about it earlier, but like, how did you learn to overcome that then? Uh, well, I mean. For my character or for me as a person? You Let's mean? do you as a person. For me as yeah. a person, um, I was like, for Trini, it was really hard, actually. <laughs> no, for me as a person, it was really tough. Um, music was like my escape and it was my outlet, my way of expressing myself. And I think that's why uh, being on set when I was like young and shooting commercials, like I felt like I belonged and I felt like this was something I could actually connect to and I was interested in and wanted to learn about. And um, I guess the best way to explain it is like when I was in school, like I was like in a classroom filled with monkeys and I was like a little fish. And the lesson of the day always happened to be, you know, how do you climb a tree? And I knew how to climb a tree, I just couldn't do it, you know? And everyone else is climbing the tree and I'm like, you know, I'm really good at swimming, and I'm just gonna keep swimming. So, you know, you know, and 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 I kind of just accepted that at a really young age, and and I went through bullying and, and all kinds of stuff like that. But it it didn't it didn't affect me that much as a person because I think I, I owe a lot to my family. They were kind of my my rock and and helped me understand that I am different and it's okay to be different. You know, so that's kind of how I overcame it. I honestly owe it to to 
uh, my music and and um, you know the the people who supported me in that. But in a weird way, it's like I feel like the nerds have taken over the world, and so we all kind That's of ex- a, experience the that nerds. Kind of, are, yes. Okay, the the idea of nerd, think nerd geek. You think of there's like a specific image that comes to people's head, and I'm like, no, like we're cool, like nerds are cool, like RJ is like one of the biggest nerds that I know, and he's one of the coolest people that I know. You know what I mean? So Dacre's a nerd himself as well. He's like, he is, yeah, yeah. He knows every. He is my go-to for anything, <laughs> any sort of information. I'm like, so Dacre in the second episode, da, 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 and he, yeah, he, he, knows. he knows everything. He knew all the years of the. Oh my gosh, he knows. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And some are guesses, Sometimes or some he's like, I just read that, and uh, yeah. and I'm like, you yeah, read I'll- a lot. <laughs> Um, we talked about the sisterhood, and, and actually, can we talk about that off offset and onset? Like, what was it like? Yeah, what was it like to kind of play it, and what was it like to kind of be part of it? You know, to, well, offset, we hate each other. I mean, once this is done, we don't, we're not, we're never don't converse, again. whatever. <laughs> um, no, what's really cool is like. I feel like it's better to have too much of something than not enough as Mm -hmm. far as chemistry goes uh, between a cast. And, you know, these kids are are just getting to know each other and then they go on this amazing adventure and we all hit it off on the first day. You know, so there was moments where we're towards the end of filming and we're filming something that's taking place in the beginning of the movie and we had to remind each other, like, our characters aren't there yet. You know, although me and Nay, you know, are there, like, Trini and Kimberly aren't, but I think it's better that way to say, okay, let's take it back a little Mm -hmm. rather than they're being like, oh, we don't, we hate each other and we just doesn't click, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, We had sleepovers. I mean, this is actually one of my big scenes that I had in the movie with uh, Rita Repulsa, Elizabeth Banks in in my bedroom. Oh my God, that sounds so crazy. Um, And (laughs) in the bedroom, the fight scene, I asked Nay, she was, it was actually supposed to be her day off and I begged and I was like, please, can you just come look out for me and just kind of like guide me through this because I was was nervous and I was had mixed emotions I was excited and I just was like looking for like kind of like big sister guidance I mm. guess so it, it was very real that that sisterhood that bond I mean you owned uh, you, uh, she doesn't need anyone any help or anything I think sometimes it's just having someone there I guess just to be there yeah. but you didn't need anything it's not just anybody though it's yeah. nay. Uh, I, it's nay. Uh, to wear the suit for the first time can you start telling what was it oh like gosh. to kind of? Um, so we uh, we had our first fitting together, and, <laughs> and I feel like everyone we. But the truth is, it was very tight, and not it was, to sound ungrateful. Got, yeah, at all. I know it, it got, was an honor, it, but it got tighter and tighter, like the more layers you put on. And we were hungry, so we were, and it took it took a long time, especially the first time that they're fitting the suits. So then when we, but then once we put the helmet on, and then we was when we turned to look in the mirror. That was very surreal. I mean, you're looking, you're like, is that? Because obviously you're like, that's not me. But you're moving, and you're like, no, that's that's me. Is that was very weird and mm-hmm. surreal. I can't say they are the most comfortable things to wear, but they are the coolest looking. But they things are. To wear. They do look look amazing. Yeah. And sometimes that's the priority. Pro of being as, a Power Ranger, the women. suit. Kind of being a Power Ranger, the suit. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Right? Uh, nerd moment, uh, when you saw your Zord, did that mean anything to you? Well, when we saw the actual pictures of our Zords, that uh-huh. was really awesome. And um, But we, when we filmed, obviously the we had a screen green work, screen. Yeah. Um, we were in a simulator, which obviously helped us obviously act it. But um, when we saw our Zords on screen, that was that was pretty cool. That was awesome. Yeah, and it's cool because you can see the simulator really emulated uh, the movement of our Zords. So, like for instance, me being saber tooth tiger, I pounce right, and I'm like when I run, I run like a tiger, and and they glides right. She flies, so she had it actually the easiest on everyone. I'm in the simulator, and I'm like my cheeks, my cheeks are in the suit. Oh my god, that's that's the whole other story. But they're like, <laughs> no, and they they's just like all good. She's like, Jason. I got you back, and I'm like, oh, I'm I love how, Don't you love how she tried to do a little bit of a British accent? Jason, Jason, oh, I got you back. I got you back. Could you, yeah, Kimberly just turns so British funny. in the second movie. Oh my god. Last quick question: Working with Dean, what is he like as a director? Because I get to talk to him later, so I'm just curious what, Ooh, what is he. Yeah. Dean is great. Amazing. He's, he's um he's definitely an actor's director, so he's someone who is always um open to talk. There's never collaboration. A time. And, and, yeah, yeah, 